Welcome back. Some more Esper Doom Foretold testing for the Mythic Point Challenge on Saturday the 29th of February. So we'll be streaming that uh, next week. So I've just been testing my list. Um, I'm doing these as individual videos. My internet's been really crappy uh, the last little bit. So I can't actually get a good stream going for whatever reason. So I'm checking in with my internet provider, seeing what they're saying, but um, just gonna be doing some recordings. So we just lost to Sultai Control, Sultai Ramp Uro. Um, trying to get back up there. Uh, we'll keep this hand. This hand lets us go offense, defense, depending what we're playing. I put the Chandra sleeves on to try to make our opponent think we're mono red. Um, so usually these hands are the ones you wanna keep with Omen or Birth onto. I think it's our opponent's connection. Okay, we're good. Um, in the dark, I'm gonna keep this. Okay, could be team wreck, could be ramp. So I'm going to actually hold this. I'd rather Omen first because if we play this out on curve, it pops off before the Doom Foretold trigger comes off. So I'd rather have both. So this will probably be Growth Spiral on their turn. Narset's actually very good in this matchup as well. Um, so let's go, let's go both only because I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to jam to fairy this turn because at this point that the most they'll have is mystical dispute, uh, following turns, they can have access to other counters. So I'm going to lead with to fairy because it shuts off counters. Lotus Field. Okay. Um, I think we plus this turn. Could still be ramp. Cure is free here. Oh, it's the Thassa's Oracle combo. So they use Underworld Breach here to try to draw out their deck. Um, so here I think I'm going to get Doom Foretold going. Uh, so what I'm going to do, actually, let's bounce this first. See what we get, and then get them to sack their Thassa or their Kiora. It can generate a lot more mana. Sorry, just uh, trying to chat with them. Okay, so Cavalier comes, they get the Underworld Breach. And they have a second one here. Um, so here I'm going to sack this. Uh, so let's plus onto Fairy. go Berthamalides 
just to not take damage. Oh, I thought we had a, why did it tap like this, this stupid castle? I want to play Narset. You gotta be wary of these castles. They don't have anything too good in their graveyard other than the breach itself. This deck also seems like it'd probably take a while. Okay, they hit the fairy. So they might play out like Oracle. Okay, another Cavalier. Do need to be mindful of this in hand. I'm gonna have to try to get that out. Okay, they play that out. Because I can Othakaya it, get it out. A board wipe would be nice. Second Doom for Tolds, actually good. I'm going to sack this. I can Thought Erasure or actually let's do that. So no, I only have the one black I can't. So let me play this out, see if we hit a board wipe first. Ashiok isn't bad. We can start exiling stuff afterwards. Mm. They opt here. Thirty four cards. See what they put on top. They put Cura. We'll just do this. Cure is free here. Oh, Drown Secrets. Okay, so they self mill through Drown Secrets. They have the red mana. Do they have Underworld Breach in hand? I feel bad cutting the uh, the other Ashiok from the sideboard. Okay, so they have Breach. The Ops can fill their graveyard here. I don't see how this deck beats mono red though. I feel like you just get trucked. They have another Kiora. Uro, so they can play another Drown Secrets here that helps fill their yard. We 
get a turn, we might be okay. But I don't think we're getting another turn. These ops just help fill their yard a lot. They're putting in at least a couple cards each time. And they do have one more Kiora. Do hit another opt. Oh, I guess these QRs just keep cycling themselves. So I'm just going to let him waste the clock, because if it comes to another game, it might become relevant. So they do have Narsets, they're not really drawing cards, we can probably cut our own Narsets here. We'll bring in the Agonizing Remorse, Conquer's Death would also be good as another one of. You can say good game, but... You gotta go through the actions. You wanna play a combo deck that's non deterministic. Also, need to try to catch that Thassa's Oracle. Do they just play the one? So, only the one we've seen thus far. So if we can catch Oracle, they might not be able to win. But post-board, they might switch away from the combo. I haven't played up against this match yet. I saw like Aldrazi, uh, Ali Aldrazi play it, and Jeff Hoogland played it a bit. Come on. Is this me? Just fire it up again. I think my connection might have cut out. Super excited to stream all day, and I can't get a suitable enough internet connection. Come on. Okay, so we're probably dead. Didn't win. They have six cards and they have that, so I can 
Kashiok, bounce, exile it. That forces them to sack two things. I can, I think we just do that. They might have just fizzled if they don't have a way to actually play out of the graveyard. Oops, tapped. Two doom triggers. After all that, they lose. So that's why I never concede to non deterministic combos. Play the grasps and probably want the vetoes here. Uh, coming out, the Narsets. Cavalier of Dawns probably also out. We can't hit the breach the turn it comes down. Uh, Ashiok's fine because it can exile potentially combo pieces. To fairies, actually. Try to cut down a couple Othakayas. Doom foretold's fine. We still have these to all sack. Get rid of a Shatter the Sky. We have the Noxious Grasps. We have the things. This is actually decent against Uro, which we saw. To very like do they bring in counter spells versus us or do they just try to if they bring in counters it's actually fine just do it like that because then it dilutes them from the combo All right, so my entire neighborhood's internet's down, which is fun. If we had a black source, I'd keep this hand, but it doesn't do enough. This hand's good. We will ship one of these. Keep that on top. I think if we can set up Doom, it'd be good. So they have the early drown secrets. We'll see how that plays out this game. Last time they didn't have it as early. They haven't ramped, which is good. This turn I can also just Teferi bounce it. Also agonizing remorse. I think I'm going to keep that because I want an answer to uh, the thing, the Oracle. Let's slow this down. No, I am not making Just make them reset there. That's a good draw as well. It's fine, they play Oduro. So this turn, I think we just get the Doom Train going. Oh, I've done the hero it gets rid of that. We have another Oracle that I can sack. Did hit both their breaches here. I'll protect you. 
So let's go our our set. So I can go, but I think we want Conquer's death here. And then on their end step, I'm gonna Omen of the Sea. And then we're setting up nicely with the Dance of the Mance eventually. Oh, that's annoying. So that's a good Conqueror's Death target. Okay, they brought in Ceratops against us. Looks like they still have the bulk of the combo. The Cure gets shut off by our Narset, so they don't get to draw a card here. And this is partially why we let their clock run. They're playing slow, so that keeps... Just make sure they haven't flipped Oracle over yet. Shatter the sky and the land. Um... Probably still want to hit land drops for this uh, Dance of the Mance. And I wouldn't mind the board wipe for when Uro comes. So we'll get rid of that. Nice thing they can't counter this, so we'll exile here. That way they can't get anything back from their graveyard. And just bust a fairy. I might sack my Narset so I can get it back with the Elspeth Conquer's death. because their growth spiral will also cost four here. It's actually a good draw. Uh, they can't even growth spiral. Um, I'm gonna do this. And I can reset this, which might be the best play. Oh, I don't get the card draw. That's fine. Having Conquer's Death to exile their stuff will be good. So I did this to force them to sack, and then we get at least something to start attacking in with. I want to start putting some pressure on the opponent. And if they bring back Uro here... Okay, so they go Secrets... Um, so I can Conquer's Death here. You know what, I messed that up. Because I could have, um, Dance of the Manced. So I'm going to play this for no value because I can sack it to keep Teferi alive, and then I could instant speed. I should have done that at instant speed. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so we have Oracle there, so I'm gonna get the Oracle out of the graveyard.
So I can get the Uro, but I actually just think I want to get that. Uh, the Oracle, because then they can't um, combo win. And then this turn I could Dance of the Mance. Sack this, I get it back. And then I get to exile the Cavalier. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five. So on opponent's upkeep, we'll do this. Actually, I can just do it now. Because then they have to sack again. Let's get rid of that. Get the land. And then they're, they're going to need an answer on the board. Um, I don't think I want either of those. I'll take another Teferi. Yeah. Comboed him. Dance of the Mance. All right, so we recoup some of the rank we lost. So I'm going to cut this one, and then we'll do another separate video. I'm going to do them per match. Uh, so thanks for tuning in for this. And if you want to uh, check out any more, uh, just look at the playlist on YouTube. Thanks for watching.